Hi guys, I'm a vlogger again. Thank you, God. It's been a minute, but we are back. I've decided that this new year I want to start vlogging again because I've taken a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube. I've been prioritizing TikTok and stuff, but today we're changing that. I'm going to meet up with Lila and Stoss right now. I love Lila and I really want to do a video one day where I live like Lila for a day because I think that that would be so funny because her life is literally the most insane thing I've ever heard. I love looking at her schedule because it's like wake up, block this rapper, go on a date with this guy, go to the club. She is my most entertaining friend, so. I can't wait for you guys to see her. I'm sure a lot of you guys know her already. I'm Lila Gibney's number one. Oh my God. Flashback Mary. Dossie has the cutest closet I've ever seen. Literally everything in here is pink. It looks like a little girl lives here. But I like, know it really does. It's honestly I the cutest thing I've ever seen. Bad news, but I am an adult. So I get out of the sure. elevator and Stassi's literally getting someone's number as I'm getting out of okay. the elevator. All I have to say is I need to put my fucking curtains up and I can't do it myself. So obviously we need no. networking for sure. <laughs> I oh love men. God. I think men are the coolest. I this is Aspen. Oh God, she is awesome. the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. No. Sorry, Brooke. She's Lila just drops off a four week old cat and like suddenly we're both moms. We're in your mommy era. Mommy era. Oh. I'm a Leo, so I'm a cat mom. You know, <laughs> she is a, what is she Kaylee, a Scorpio? No. Me too. Oh, she's a Sag. So she's this is so I'm LA Sag right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Lila's been gone for literal weeks now, but thank God she's back. What the fuck is up, Baldivas? Welcome back to the Alexis Oakley vlog. Today we're kind of just chilling. I stole her camera as always, as a true scammer would do. You would do it too for a check, duh. Alexis, I love you and you're my favorite person ever. Back to the video. This is Lila's runway walk. We're gonna go to Ulta because we love spending money. Yay! I'm so sad they're out of the sunscreen that I wanted. It's the one that looks like whipped cream. The dolls are dolling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My second thing that I came to Ulta for, I think that they also don't have. I really wanted to get the new Tarte Sculpt, which is like their version of the Charlotte Tilbury Contour one. I thought that it was just an Ulta thing, not Sephora, and I'm not seeing it anywhere. I guess it's good for my bank account because I'm spending no money today, which is rare. Okay, vlog, a lot has happened since we last spoke. Were you guys ready for the jump scare? I am officially a queen. This glam is beyond. Wow, I look stunning. I went to James's house and we were watching RuPaul's Drag Race and I was telling him that one time years ago, this was like 2017, 2018, I got asked to do two people's makeup and turn them into drag queens. And so of course I said yes. Did I know how to do drag? Absolutely not. Had I ever done it before? Absolutely not. But I completely lied my way in and was like, oh my God, I do drag all the time. Like, yeah, of course I can do it. You guys, I've never been more embarrassed ever in my life, period, point blank, that's it, end of a story. Like it was some of my worst work. It wasn't even some of, it was most definitely my worst work I've ever done. And I can't believe that my name is tied to that. It's honestly, it's beyond. I showed him the photo and he obviously agreed with me that it was extremely tragic. So he was like, sister, let me show you how it's done. We went down in his studio, James did this eye and then I recreated this eye and honestly, not the worst. Like it's definitely giving Walmart version of his, but Pretty decent for my first time ever doing drag. There's one hair that's just sticking out and I almost plucked that bitch because I was like, I can't be embarrassed yet again in front of Sister James Charles. It's one in the morning, I'm really tired. I would love to just wash my face immediately and jump into bed, but part of me is like, I should finish the rest of my face and take an Instagram photo while I have this. But that also sounds so awful. But then I'm like, shit, do it for the content, bitch. I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder because I honestly don't even recognize myself. My phone doesn't recognize myself either. Like my face ID has no clue who I am. I feel like I'm gonna go to bed. Love you guys. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow if I keep being a vlogger. I'm trying to get you guys to balance on something right now. 
sun. Good morning. It's actually not morning at all. It's currently 1 p.m. You guys, I've been getting up so late recently, which is so unlike me. Normally I wake up at like six or seven, but I also go to bed really, really early. And then the last like, honestly, 13 days, pretty much the entirety of January, I've been staying up so late because I've just been having a lot of fun with friends, which I feel like I normally don't. Normally I just go to work, go home, rot, same thing every single day. But I've really been prioritizing friendships this year and I've hung out with friends pretty much every day this year. Oh my god, Bay just scared the shit out of me. Work has been kind of slow, but it's really starting to pick up, which is amazing. And I'm doing a new client today, which I'm so excited about, you guys. I am glamming the one, the only, Alex Earl. I'm so, so beyond excited. I've been following her for a few months now. It was before she really started to blow up. I think she had like 100K on Instagram. And this was only a few months ago, which is honestly just insane how fast she's blown up. And a few months ago, she was in LA and I messaged her and was like, oh my god, girl, like, let's glam. And she wrote back right away and was like, oh my god, I would love to, but I'm only here for one night so I don't think it's gonna work this time but she was like I'll be back in January and as soon as I saw that she was coming back to LA I immediately messaged her and was like girl this is gonna be the collab of the year for me. I met her for the first time the other night at a Summer Fridays event, the one that Brooke and I went to. It was so fun. She was so sweet and we were kind of talking about glam. I was like, have you ever been glam before? And she was like, yeah, like a little bit here and there. But she's like, obviously I mainly do my own makeup. And so I think that we should do something really fun and kind of out of her element. I feel like she always does that like natural, bronzy, beautiful, freckle, white eyeliner look. And I would love to switch it up and get her out of her comfort zone a little bit. I think that she would look so fucking beautiful in like a cool toned, gray gray smoky eye with a little bit of shimmer but that might be a little bit too out of her comfort zone so we'll see but I'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun and I can't wait for you guys to see the look I'm also pale right now which is really unfortunate because you guys know me I'm addicted to spray tans and usually I always have one and of course this is my off day I was supposed to get a spray tan tomorrow and then we decided to glam today so that's really unfortunate for me, but I think I'm just gonna put self tanner on my hands and my neck and then just match the face and make it work Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. As you can see, I'm definitely a lot more tan now, but I applied self tanner on my face and then literally down to here. And then I applied it from elbows down because whenever I'm doing makeup, a lot of times if I'm wearing long sleeves, I'll put my sleeves up just because I feel like they're in the way. It's three o'clock, we're glamming Alex at five. I probably need to leave around 4.30. I still need to clean my kit and get my brushes ready and make sure everything's good to go for the queen. So let's clean the brushes and have a little shit chat. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I'm pretty sure my brushes are in my car right now. I keep a Ziploc bag so that that way whenever I'm done working, I can put the dirty brushes in there so that they don't contaminate the clean brushes or anything like that. And sometimes I throw them in my suitcase and then other times whenever I want to clean them at home before I leave for a next job, I'll take them out and then just like throw them in my car and I brought in the suitcase but not the brushes. So I need to go get those. Oh my God, you guys, I just had a full on panic attack because I didn't think my brushes were in my kit. I very vividly remember not putting them back in there and just like throwing them in my car. I'm like out of breath. But I didn't even look in my kit because I just knew in my brain that they were in my car. I went down to my car, they weren't there. So I started having a panic attack. I come back upstairs, I look through my kit, I can't find them anywhere. And they were literally like buried under my foundations and light and stuff. So thank God I finally found them. Anyway, let's clean these hose. I am really excited that I'm gonna be trying to come back to YouTube. I feel like for a minute there, I was trying to mainly focus on TikTok because that was really popping off. And I'm gonna be really honest, it's just a lot easier for me. I feel like YouTube is a lot more time consuming and I haven't found an editor that I really like vibe with. So I've been doing it all on my own and I love YouTube so, so, so much. I think that it's honestly so much fun. And I feel like it's my favorite platform to consume content on, but it's just a lot more work. So I'm trying to figure out how to prioritize it all this year because obviously social media is a full-time job itself. And then I also have another full-time job, which is obviously doing makeup. So it's so hard for me to balance doing makeup full-time, creating content every single day between Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, doing brand deals, like all of the stuff. I feel like I have like 17 full full-time jobs and obviously I'm so grateful and it's so much fun and I'm so lucky to be able to do things that I actually enjoy every single day. It was also really slow work-wise towards the beginning of the year and I feel like things are starting to pick up now. I'm really excited because tomorrow I'm working with Natalie Noel and she's doing her final fitness photos for her Zila thing that she's been doing. She looks amazing. I think she always looked amazing. The last time I saw her was at the launch party for Dobrik and so that was maybe like, I honestly have no sense of time. It very well could have been three weeks ago and it also could have been three months ago, but I really don't remember, but I know it's been like a while and she posted a photo in the gym I think it was yesterday or the day before and she looked fucking ripped so I'm so excited to see how she looks I don't even need to contour abs on that bitch normally I'm like doing all the body if I makeup like you guys know how it is and honestly there's a lot of really exciting work things coming up between this month and in the months ahead and I'm really excited to share with you guys as I can along the way
Steve, I always start off by applying eye patches and then I fill in the brows because I feel like it really helps to frame the face. I applied concealer all over her lid to act as a base and then I just set that with powder so that the eyeshadow goes on smoothly. I applied a cool tone brown in her crease and then I used a black eyeliner from Jouer to smudge into her lash line. Next, I applied a charcoal gray all over the outer half of her lid. Next, I applied a glitter topper from Makeup by Mario and then I used a makeup wipe to clean up any excess fallout and create a nice sharp lifted effect. This is the product that Alex was talking about in her Get Ready With Me video and it's the Bobbi Brown Repair Cream. I used the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation tonight and then just press that in with a beauty blender. Last night, Alex told me that she never wets her beauty blender and I'm so curious, do you guys wet yours? If not, you should because I'm telling you this will really level up your makeup. For concealer, I use the Jouer Liquid Concealer, which as you guys know, is one of my favorites and a little bit goes a long way and then I just bake the under eyes using the Givenchy Prisme Libre Powder in the shade Rose. I love this powder for under the eye because it really helps to brighten and cancel out any dark circles. For bronzer, I used a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Deep. I've been so obsessed with a cool tone pinky blush moment. And tonight, I'm using one from Jouer. They truly have some of the best blushes ever. Setting the brows in place with the Anastasia Brow Freeze, and then I'm baking the cheekbone with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Then it was Alex's time to shine with the lashes. She curled them and then applied her mascara combo, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof. And then the Benefit Roller Lash. If you guys want to purchase or check out any of the products that I use, click the link in my bio.